welcome to class one. So this is not necessarily a progression, you can interchange in uh, these classes. We're going to start by sitting down on the floor. So this is where your blocks come in handy. All right, so what I'd like you to do is put your blocks together. If you don't have blocks, um, using a cushion, a nice thick cushion and sitting on that. So that's helpful as well. Put the blocks, so the narrow side is facing the front of the mat and we're gonna come down with a little wiggle and a shimmy down onto the blocks to sit on your knees, okay. So as we come down, we're gonna wiggle, 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 breathe, 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 and walk the hands forward and then bring your bottom back to sit on the blocks. So I'm just gonna give you a chance to get comfortable here. And if you need some, um, an extra block, that's definitely an option. If it's uncomfortable on your knees, you can always sit cross-legged. We're gonna do some cross-leg work later anyway. You can always, as well, grab a cushion and put it underneath the blocks. So this elevates yourself up even higher and it prevents restrictions in the back of the knees. As long as it feels stable and comfortable. Another option, if you don't find it comfortable with that sort of flexion in the feet is to roll up a scarf and just pop it underneath your heel. Okay, so that just elevates the ankle like that. So that is another, another option. As I say, we use the blocks to bring the ground up to us and just to prevent any restriction behind the knees. So we're gonna start with some breath work. So I'd like you to close your eyes. Now this is appropriate, these, all these practices are appropriate for um, pregnancy from 14 weeks up until labour and childbirth. All the techniques I'll be sharing with you can be used throughout your labour. And a daily yoga practice can really, really help keep the body moving and de-stress the mind and feel less anxious because it can be a time of both great excitement and joy but also anxiety as well. So we're going to settle that. So we're just allowing the hands, first of all, to rest on the top of the thighs. Just play around with the hand position so you can maybe rest the palms of the hands down on the thighs or turn the hands up so the palms are facing up towards the sky. So the palms facing up has more of a surrendering quality and a receiving and then turning the hands down is a more grounding Quality. So just, there's no right or wrong, just feel what is right for you today. Every time you do your practice, you will feel different, even though we are doing, you might be doing this practice over and over. So just noticing those changes in energy, in emotions. So just observing your breath. First of all, notice what parts of the body move when you breathe. Of course, the air is coming into the lungs, so the breath in the chest will move. That's where the lungs are. So just notice any other parts of the body that might have some movement when you breathe in and out. Bring your attention to your seat bones. So your seat bones are right underneath your bottom. They're those knobbly bits that you are meant to sit on. 
Most of us don't sit on our seat bones. We normally drop back and sit at the back and towards the sacrum. So we're really trying to sit into those sit bones. If you're not sure where the sit bones are, just slide your hands underneath your bottom. Just have a little feel underneath the bum and then replace your bottom down. And then lift up through the crown of the head. Think about a long, tall, golden thread being pulled up through the crown of the head. So we have a connection with the earth through our seat bones and our pelvis and our lower legs. A connection up through to the sky, through the crown of the head. Just allow the muscles of the face to soften. And relax the jaw. So rest the tongue in the bottom of the mouth. And gently part the teeth so there's space between the top and bottom teeth. This will release the jaw. But really important to keep the jaw relaxed for childbirth. There's a direct correlation between the jaw and the pelvis. So relaxed jaw, a relaxed pelvis and cervix. your attention towards the gentle inhalation and exhalation that you share with your baby. And then still, if you're comfortable with the eyes shut, still with the eyes shut, bring your hands towards your belly, towards your baby and just cup there, just holding your hands. And naturally you might be drawn to massage and to rub. So let's just do a few of those lovely connecting touch, one of the earliest senses to your baby. And don't be afraid to you know, put a little bit of pressure on that lovely firm stroke. Later on in pregnancy you'll be able to feel them push back. work around the bump one way and then the other and then maybe in a figure of eight just come into resting then with the hands still connecting with your baby if the you don't like having the eyes closed you can open the eyes and just gently gaze forward to guide you through the first breath that we're going to learn and it's called the golden thread breath. So you're going to breathe in through the nose and then out through the mouth. So we just do that a few times just to get used to it. So your breath pattern might be different to mine. So breathing in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Just sigh it out. Breathing in through the nose, expanding on the in breath and letting go on the out breath. On your next exhalation, you're going to soften the lips and blow through gently parted lips. A long golden thread, a visualization of a golden thread being woven out through gently parted lips. So the in breath comes in through the nose. And then as you exhale, softening the lips, but
ಕೇಳೋದೇ ನಾ ಪೂರ್ವ ಕೇಳೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು that's visualization of the golden thread being woven out all the way to the end of the exhale this is a great antidote to managing any sensations through birth it's a very it's a great breath for pain relief so for any time you feel uncomfortable with any breath work that i'm sharing with you just back off and go back to that normal breath and a normal breath pattern so the exhalation the gently parted lips still with a soft jaw and soft lips visualizing a golden thread being woven out and disappearing through the distance you remaining totally present in this breath. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Keep the face soft the elbows to soften and then just come to the end of the, the last golden thread exhalation and just gently release the chin down towards the chest now we're not slumping we're still keeping the upper body strong so opening up the collarbones and the heart center Think about the shoulder blades coming in towards the spine and down the back. A nice stretch in the back of the neck. So sharing that breath with your baby. I'm going to tip the right ear to the right shoulder. And allow the head to become heavy to the side and release it through the side. Maybe pressing the left shoulder down to increase the intensity of the stretch. And then slowly roll the head back to the middle and then over to the other side. So always following the movement with the breath. So you're feeling a nice stretch and an opening on the right side. The right neck, side of the neck. Press the right shoulder down. Deep breath in and out. So all of these it will be opposite to me. So I've got my left ear to my left shoulder. So it'll look different and opposite. And then release it back to the middle. Like that. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. And then release the arms. We're going to loop and roll the shoulders up, back, round and down. So really enjoying an expansive movement in the shoulders. Especially if you're still working and you're at a desk. Just opening up. So we're going to inhale, squeeze the shoulders up and then exhale and release it down. And let's go forward. So bringing the shoulders up, back, round and down. So squeeze the shoulder blades in, bring them up towards the ears and then release on the exhale. Now I like to make noises in my classes. So your baby hears the breath and it hears the noises of your, your breath and your voice. Ah. So try a few of those, you can go the other way. So you don't have to be prescriptive with this movement. You might want to do a little bit more and then change the other way, but ah, releasing down on the exhale. Good, and then take the right arm up, stretch it up, reach up to the sky, and then exhale, bring it down. So 
remember if I'm going quicker or slower, then you go at your own pace, lifting the left arm up and then exhaling, releasing it down. So just following the gaze of the arms, breathing in and breathing out. Both together again, breathing in, lifting up and exhaling, release it down. And then one more deep breath in, reach the arms up above the head. And then we're just gonna reach over to the right side. And I'd like you to release your hand so it's resting on the floor. So you reach up and over with the left arm and looking into the eye of the left elbow, maybe. Keep those, the tailbone dropping down towards the floor. Deep breath in and then exhale, release that arm down. Watch it, watch it move and then turn your attention to the right arm. Breathe it in and up and then exhale and over. So you'll find that maybe that left arm will bend as you come down, but I want you to keep the seat bones equal and weighted into the floor. So breathe in, reach up and over. Creating loads of space in the side body for your baby. And then let's just flow. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale. So windmilling the arms. And exhale. Switching sides. Just enjoying that movement. Remember you can always stop the video if you're getting tired. One more on this side. And then release the arms. So we are going to come off the knees. So if you walk your hands forward and move the blocks aside. So, sorry, these are bricks. So move the bricks aside and then grab your block and pop it behind you. You're gonna use the long edge facing the front of the mat. So just putting that down. And I'm well aware that you'll be, those of you who are doing this video will be at different stages of your pregnancy. Okay, you will be working, you'll be moving differently. So I'm going to give as many options as I possibly can for different um, stages of your pregnancy. So now we're sitting cross-legged. Again, this may not be option for you. So just establish a comfortable cross-legged position. Now, you can see I've got my legs tucked under each other. You can always bring one leg in front of the other, okay? And that will feel different. For me, it just drops, it just releases my pubic bone, which is here, down towards the floor. So these aren't right or wrong, they're just different. So I'm giving you different positions. So crossing the legs either one in front of the other or tucking them under. We're gonna change anyway. So find that long, tall spine again. You'll hear me say the same things over and over. That's releasing through the face, through the jaw, dropping the shoulders, opening the heart. So we're smiling the collarbones from shoulder to shoulder. And when you do that, you'll feel the shoulder blades moving in towards the spine. We wanna be using the strength in our backs. Um, postnatally, after you've had your baby, this can happen a lot stumping so we're opening that out and working with the strength of the back so find the seat bones once again find the breath deep breath in and exhale and you know it's happening thank you dexter okay so we're going to do something called the soupy grind i love the fact that he barks and just doesn't move Okay, so we're moving around in, let's go clockwise first. In a circle. Now imagine your baby, your baby's really enjoying this. Lots of movement. Inhale and exhale. And then let's go the other way. So switch direction. Always. Paying exquisite attention to the breath. 
the breath will get you through everything. And let's switch direction and do a tiny little circle. So just imagine you're drawing, you're starting like a spiral, and you're drawing a tiny spiral. So you won't be able to see me move, maybe very subtle movement to keep that long, tall spine. Keep the breath going. And then we're going to start to increase that spiral. So use the upper body to move as well. So that spiral is going to ripple out and we're going to go back to those big, big movements again. <sighs> Lots of breath. Let's see where the head wants to go and then let's go the other way. So switching now, start big the other way and then we're going to go small. So start to think about that spiral going anti-clockwise but this time getting smaller. And just allowing that to settle. Bring your hands to your baby once again. At any time you want that connection with your baby, you bring your hands to your baby. So if you're early on in pregnancy, sometimes this feels unreal. I get women come into class who think, who say, I just don't feel pregnant. And then of course, grow, your baby grows. The incredible miracle that it is to see your baby. So we're going to switch the cross of the leg. So now this should feel a little bit weird. Okay, so the other leg's in front, either tucked under, so play with that. Maybe leg in front. Find those seat bones once again, find the length up through the crown of the head. And if you're late on in pregnancy, you know this, you, you can still get some expansive movement, but only go to where you are comfortable. So let's just do some Sufi grinds going clockwise. Nice to close your eyes if that feels comfortable, because you can really go inwards. So you go into the whole experience with your baby. And round the other way. Let's do those little spirals. So start in the middle. And imagine we're drawing a tiny, tiny little spiral, which then starts to get bigger and bigger. some sound. Ah. Ah. And then the other way, start big and then we're going small. So big spirals going anti-clockwise. Keep the shoulders relaxed, check in with the jaw. And then bringing that spiral in a tiny little pinpoint where you are back to stillness. And just flutter the eyes open if you haven't got them open already. Release the arms, take a deep breath in, swoop the arms up by your side and feel and watch the hands touch and then come all the way down through heart centre. We're going to do that again. So peel the hands Open the hands up, palms facing up, deep breath in, and then pull all that down through heart centre back to see your baby. Feel the hands, release, deep breath in, and all the way back down. This time we're just going to hold it here at the heart centre. And Jali Mudra, and Mudra is a hand gesture. 
Just gently press the outside of the thumbs into the heart center. The hands pressing in towards each other, but not creating any tension in the shoulders. So make sure that the shoulders are blocked. And a gentle smile that you share both externally and internally with your baby. So we're going to come on to all fours next. So however way you get here is entirely up to you. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, different options. So earlier on in pregnancy, maybe you can bring yourself up, pull yourself up like so and onto all fours. Or you can under your legs, stretch your legs out and then shift your weight into the side either the right or the left and come up. So you don't always feel particularly great graceful when you're pregnant. So I want to bring some of that grace back in to share with you and so you can share with you and your baby. So coming on to all fours. Now earlier on in pregnancy your knees will be and can be hip width apart. Okay so quite narrow. Later on, I want you to really widen the knees out. The toes will touch at the back, okay, if that feels comfy. But you can also bring the legs out wide as well. So we're just going to play with that sort of in and out movement with the lower legs. And this will change the shape of the pelvis, okay. So wherever you're comfortable, so knees either hip width apart and lower legs parallel or you can go wider with your toes touching or your legs out so as long as you're accommodating your baby in your bum so i'd like you to just lengthen through the crown of the head all the way through the spine to the tailbone so think about a long line of energy now we're not we're not Dipping. This is what tends to happen is because the weight of the baby, especially later on, that the belly will dip and so will the uh, lower back. So we're just going to lengthen the back and just straighten it out just a little bit. And you'll feel, maybe you'll feel your abdominals engaging and your baby being pulled in towards the spine. Good, so your wrists directly underneath your shoulders, knees directly underneath your hips if you're earlier on in pregnancy or later outwards. Right, we're going to rock backwards and forwards. So just taking a little bit of weight into the hands and then back again. So we're going to inhale, lean forward, and then exhale. So we're moving into the wrists. Try not to lock your arms, so the arms are strong, but you've got gentle, really micro bend in the elbows. I'm just going to bring my knees in because I'm more comfortable with my knees in. If this is uncomfortable on your wrists, okay, you can make fists. So you can plant the fists down. So these are called gorilla hands, yeah? Or you can fold your mat over and put the heels of the hands on the mat because that means then you've got a slight elevation. At any time that your wrist feels sore, you come back. But we are trying to, you're going to be holding your baby a lot. So we're trying to build strength and resilience in the wrists. Okay, we're going to just imagine a pendulum hanging down from your belly button and you're going to draw a big circle with that pendulum. Keep the hands open, wide and all the fingers planted down on the ground and look down towards the space in your hands and do lots of breath so let's go the other way so switching direction <sighs> remember this is your practice you will be guided by me but because i can't see you you must take responsibility for when you rest or you feel discomfort. So you're rotating round the wrists, taking your baby on a little ride as well. 
Great, now tuck your toes under and walk your hands back towards your knees. We're going to sit into a toe squat, all right? So this is a love or hate thing. I'm just going to turn my back to you so you can see. We're sitting into the toe joint, into the toe squat, or as I used to call it, screaming toes. So really sit, see if you can get some weight into the feet. We're strengthening and opening up the back of the feet. So you may be here. Now this is where it's useful to have the blocks. So you can ease your way back and sit just as, and then you can come up. So you can always come in and out. All right, so you can stretch back into those, that toe squat and then come out. As the, as you do this practice more and more, you'll feel that you're able to stay there a bit more. So we're not staying there to the point of, of pain, but you're observing the sensation. So if you're happy to, release the arms, take a deep breath in, reach the arms up above the head, and then bring the hands together and down through heart center. So remember every breath that you take, you're sharing with your baby. So inhale, come up, exhale, come down. Notice the sensation in the feet, and if you back away from it, use the breath to manage it. Inhale, reach up and then come down and then release the feet. So we're going to walk the hands forward slowly. Just come onto the knees and just let the feet hang. So just allow the um, toes to get some blood back into them. And then we're going to tap the toes out. So a little tap, tap, tap. Good. And back to all fours. And we're going to take a deep breath in and allow your baby just to release down. So cow belly and just gazing in front of you. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and look towards your baby. So you're arching the back up towards the sky and then inhaling and looking up. So just allowing that gentle curve of the back and your baby to be released and then tuck under. Release the breath. And just stay here for a moment, pressing into the earth and hugging your baby into your abdominals. So you're really wrapping your abdominals around your baby, giving them a good hug. And then back to the middle. So give your bottom a little wiggle from side to side. And then we're going to come up to standing. So tuck your toes under. And I want you to walk your hands back towards your knees, press into the earth. You may be you may be way out here or a little bit further in, depending on your flexibility. And I want you to lift, press into the earth and lift the knees up. So breathe, breathe, breathe. Go a little bit wider with the feet and walk the hands back. Keep the head very heavy. And then we're going to ragdoll roll up. So vertebrae by vertebrae. Keep the head heavy and the arms heavy. And on the way up, a little shimmy. Okay, so you're wiggling your shoulders and shimmying all the way up. Go slow. And here we are in mountain pose. <laughs> 